Hi, welcome back to the channel. On this episode of FBSB, we are going to take apart this door real fast and just show the consumers what's on the inside of hollow doors. So stick around and we'll demolish it. Okay, so um, this is just your average hollow door that you could buy, uh, say at Home Depot or whatever like that. This is actually in the mobile I've been working on for about a week now. And this door is going to be thrown away. It's kind of hard to see it uh, because it's uh, up against a white wall and it's the same color white as on the door. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pull this cover off and let you guys see uh, what goes, what is in the actual door. You can see what you're spending your money on there. These things are, oops, sorry, sugar. They're not a whole lot to them. Okay. So most of it, most of this, it's like a cardboard waffle. If you can get real close. But anyway, you can see where all it was. Most of it came off on this piece here. You can see a lot of it here. So, um... There's not a whole lot to these. That's why you have to be really careful. Uh, whenever you're cutting these doors, you can see they got a solid piece. Of, I don't know about how solid, but any, anyway, they got a little bit of a solid piece here. It's like a one by, uh, maybe a one by three. You can see here, and they, uh, I can't remember exactly what these things are called right here. So they actually just had it put, I actually just had it put together with this little piece here and then this was glued to the back side of the door and the same thing here it was glued to the front side of the door so this was actually the only bit of nail I can't think of what those are called they use them on picture frames too but anyway um, so you can see here is where it was glued to and they got another one right here identical to this is for the doorknob to set in so there's not a whole lot to these doors this is kind of like a pegboard material uh, let me get closer so if you can see here this is like a pegboard material so it's like a compressed uh, I don't know what you call it Let's, let me put that down is this still good it's like a compressed uh, cardboard or something not necessarily cardboard but it's some kind of composite material <laughs> anyway um, it's the same stuff that pegboard is made out of so it's not really strong and if you could focus in right here at the bottom I want to say something about cutting doors okay so this right here is the actual bottom you can see you got about two uh, maybe two and a half inches right here of of uh, a solid piece of wood it's like it's like this right here only it's not as big right here on the bottom let me actually see if I can cut a little bit of that off here and see well, I can't I can't get to it anyway there's a solid piece here so uh, whenever you cut your door if a person needs to cut one of these doors if they have a thicker carpet or something put down the more you cut into this, if you have to cut an inch off of that, you're like taking a whole bunch of this sturdiness away because it ain't got a whole lot to it. You got this here and then one at the top. And outside of that, you just got this little bit of a one by here. So the more you cut off of these hollow doors, the uh, weaker it gets. So you always have to be really careful about doing that. If you do have happen to cut it too much to where this piece comes completely out, uh, it'll be like a hollow shell like this right here. You can actually take you a, a board and rip it. This is just cardboard here, so you could take something on the inside of this and just push this up. Say, uh, if a person had to cut their door up to about right here for some reason, like they was cutting it down, and um, you could push this out without demolition, without tearing your door apart. You could just uh, push this up in the bottom if this board gets cut completely out. Take what you cut out, 
hollow your door out here by taking the cardboard out stick this same piece right back up in there shoot you some staples in the facing of the door and then a uh, paint over it so that's just a generic way to fix that if you ever come across that but anyway uh, you can see what you're getting here whenever you buy a hollow door just a piece of two pieces of pegboard and some cardboard it's all it is it's like a waffle cardboard so so if you want something that's going to last a long time you're definitely better off just buying a solid door they actually have the doors um, they're not like they got a wood frame around them like this right here but then on the inside they're filled with like a particle board and those are real solid doors until they uh, take a lot of water in a cut spot say if you cut the bottom off and you don't seal it off with something if water gets in there it's going to swell up just like a particle board floor so if you do cut those down to size and you expose the particle board part of it it's going to have a wooden place just like this on the bottom but if you cut so much to where um, you expose the particle board seal that up with some kind of paint or some kind of sealant okay and you'll get a lot of years out of it I actually bought one of those doors when we lived in Tennessee and I had to cut the width down and the height down because it came just a, a blank door it didn't even have a doorknob hole or nothing I had to do all that myself so that's how I know about what those uh, type of doors are but anyway this door was about to fall apart so I just thought it would be kind of interesting to see what was in these doors that way the consumers can see what they are paying for and how how uh, well they're made or how well they're not made I guess I should say but anyway I just wanted to do this real quick video on you I hope somebody will benefit from it and enjoy it and thank you for my lovely wife for being the camera lady on 90% of my videos and Lester even on most of my live streams she's here to help so shout out to the wife thank you thanks for tuning in we'll see you next time on FBSB